What's good, YouTube? You are know it's born. I'm gonna get you another video. And look, before we start this video, man, I appreciate you guys' love and support. Y'all comments, everything, man. Y'all really help me out. Also, man, make sure you, you know what I'm saying, subscribe to my homie Sins World. Make sure y'all go go over there and show him some love on this channel. Make sure you let him know that I sent you. Also, you know, follow our Instagrams as well. They'll be in the uh, video or whatever. But yeah, what's good, y'all, man? Make sure y'all like the video, too. That's sure y'all donation to the channel. What's good? And also, I want to say this. For those of y'all that have any questions about my workout plans, etc., etc., DM me first on Instagram, man, at Caleb W. K L I P W underscore. I believe that's what it is. If I'm not mistaken, this is the underscore before or after one of them. I don't keep track of my exact Instagram name. But anyway, make sure y'all DM me on there before y'all make any purchases. Now, this video, man, I don't know the, the title of this video, but I'm gonna think I'ma think of it, man. I'ma think of it. But listen, I had a comment and I just had to make a response video. I had to make a response video to it because it, it needed to be done. Now, I got a comment under my recent video, you know, with the confidence. And this dude said, brutal, brutal dude, comma, you have a gym vibe, but your face holds you back. That's brutal. Not going to lie. And I said, huh? Like, what the hell is this dude talking about? And then he said, your face is normie, not Tyrone. And I was like, cool, re response video coming. Now, I want to tell you guys something there's a fine line between oh you got a good body but your face is all right there's a fine line between that and you will be able to tell if you have a a over above average handsome face and just a mediocre body or if you have you know just a regular face but a great body or if you have both there's plenty of ways to tell. I'm going to tell you guys how. Listen, this is just a freestyle video. I ain't got nothing in order. This is just something I'm going off the top of my head because I disagree strongly with what this man's saying because for number one, he's a man. He don't understand what a woman feels. He don't understand what a woman sees. This is just me making these handsome men game videos and me actually coming to the conclusion that I am handsome above average in looks. It's because women in my area and also in other cities that I go into, a consensus of them, a consensus of them find me handsome, find me overly attractive. And I can tell by how they react and respond towards me, you know. But listen, this is just a freestyle video, guys. Y'all just tune in and listen. But listen, one, one, number one, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna even say number one. I'm gonna just say this. You know, I'm just freestyling. I mean, this ain't even in order. Women tend to touch my face. They want to touch my face a lot. They want to give me face-to-face -face hugs, you know. They always compliment something about my face. It's never my body, you know. The neck up. They're, they're wanting to kiss on something on the neck up. That's what they want to do. They're not trying to suck and do all this over my body. They're trying to, they're trying to get up here, you know. And you have to understand that, man. If a woman is not constantly trying to touch your face or do anything like that then you might have an average face you might have average face but if a woman is constantly trying to touch her face especially if a woman is trying to give you a face-to-face -face hug i want y'all to think about that for a second a face-to-face -face hug if women are constantly interacting with your face then that's what she finds mostly attractive about you the face see a lot of people are not honest about the facial part of things because a lot of people are not, you know what I'm saying, just facially, just just have a nice face. Let's just, let's just call it what it is, man. I don't mean to, you know what I'm saying, be bragging or anything like that, but, you know, a lot of people don't have a above average looking face. When women are calling you fine, cute, handsome, what else are they talking about? What else? What else are they talking about? Tell me. What else? If a woman compliments you, says you are handsome or, you know, you're cute, whatever. If she's complimenting you and you don't even have a shirt that shows your physique or any type of outfit, whatever, that shows your physique, she's looking at your face. I want y'all to understand that. 
most women they tend to compliment me on my face you know they call me pretty boy you know even in school before i even you know started to hit the gym and drop drop a body fat percentage but my body fat percentage was pretty low you know i had one girl to tell me my face is too pretty to be in the fight exactly what she told me my face is too pretty to be in the fight that's what she told me if a woman is constantly complimenting your face if she's always want to touch your face if she's saying something about your haircut your haircut does what it brings out what your face you have to pay attention to this guys because a woman is going to let you know subconsciously whether you ask her for it whether you ask her or not she's going to let you know what does she find mostly attractive in you she's going to let you know you know i don't know i just i guess i gotta be the you know what i'm saying i gotta be the truth teller in this in this space a woman is going to treat you differently when your face is not up to par I'm going to tell you that right now. She's going to treat you differently. When a woman is always in your face. She's always in your face. She's always in your face. Let me tell you guys something. Listen. And me, what I like to do, you know what I'm saying? When I'm dealing with women, man, this is just me talking. You know, I like to go on walks. I like to work out together. I like to go on long drives. Stuff like that, man. Just to truly see, do we have a connection? You feel me? Not just if it's in a corner way you know not if it's just us physically attracted obviously you know what i'm saying we physically attracted or whatever but i want to see is your soul gonna connect with mine because if it's not i can't give you my wood you know bottom line i just can't do it but those are the type of scenarios i put women in to see that we connect so with that being said women when, when we are having conversations women are close to me they look at me in my eyes they all up in my face and when i say all up in my face Say, for instance, guys, you are with a woman. If a woman is in your face like this, like, like I'm talking about close to the point where y'all can damn near French kiss, she finds your face arousing, very attractive. This is a freestyle video, guys, so if I make any mistakes, I'm just going in, man. But she finds your face arousing, you know? You have true power when your body it's not even in the equation yet, you know? That's just the icing on the cake. But when a woman is finding your face arousing, you have a lot of power there, man. And it's also dangerous because you have a lot of pregnancy scares, man. I know a lot of women come around me, you know? I, I know a lot of women's agenda sometimes, especially the lower quality. Now, I mean no harm in saying this, man. I mean no harm in saying this. This is, you know what I'm saying? I mean no harm, I'm humble. But like I said, this is the freestyle video, man. I got to be honest with you guys. The women who I put in the category of hood rat, I'm, listen, we all know what hood rats is. I'm not, I'm look, I'm, I'm not a judge, you know, like that, but this is what we call them. Or I'm going to say women who are overly masculine, you know, but, you know, they're not too masculine, but they overly masculine. Hood, let's just call them hood, you know. They come from a rough culture. I'll say that. Now, those women tend to try to you know trap me with the pregnancy scares you know why because they see that i'm what they call me fine they want to have my child because you know i'm i'm aesthetically handsome they want to recreate that a lot of those women do and to be real with you guys honestly subconsciously in my opinion i feel like you know what i'm saying this is just me being honest from what i can see and the vibe that i get from women you know, the vibe that I get from them when I'm interacting with them. I feel like every last one of them, you know, every last one of them subconsciously wouldn't mind having my baby, regardless of what the situation is, regardless of if I can provide or not, whatever. They tend to, you know, be okay with that because I ain't gonna get too deep in it, man, because they might watch whatever, but just know, man, that I can tell that they wouldn't mind it or they wouldn't, say for instance, if they got pregnant, they're not gonna abort it. They're not going to take a plan B. They're not going to do none of that. They're going to write along with it. And that's deep right there. That's deep. If a woman is willing to have your seed, that says a lot. It says a lot, especially when she barely knows you, you know, especially when it's just y'all first interaction, stuff like that. Pay attention to that, man, because I'm going to be real with you guys. A lot of these dudes that these women have sex with, 
they are corner you know women are not disciplined like us men women tend to flock more in the evil state of mind most of the time but listen women will have sex with a man and abort his kid women will have sex with a man and take a plan b but that man that just aesthetically pleasing that she says man our kid would be beautiful together do you honestly think in her right mind she's finna abort that kid or take a plan b women tend to you know what i'm saying they tend to try to put me in that situation where i'm putting the kid in them they, they tend to try to do that but you know I, underdog hell you know what i'm saying i hold my own man i hold my own but they try to put me in that situation for sure they do and this is another thing guys getting even deeper with it just getting even deeper with it guys if you are not aesthetically pleasing you know handsome or whatever you know you, you want to call it i don't even want to say this guys but you know what i'm saying no nobody wants a ugly child guys nobody wants an ugly child i'm just going to be real with you especially women women do not want ugly children if you have a kid or whatever and women strangers i'm talking about strangers if women are coming up to you and they are saying oh you know what i'm saying just complimenting your kid and this and they just coming out of nowhere left to right and they looking at you and they looking up pay attention to that that says a lot that says a lot that says a lot man they're saying subconsciously in their own mind, you know, you create a beautiful child. And, you know, like I said, I don't know if I told y'all in previous videos, but I believe I did. You know, I got one kid. And, um, yeah, man, a lot of women tend when I put my kid in the basket, I can't stop getting attention from women. And these are from women who don't even have kids. Young women coming up to me, you know, coming up looking, saying, you know, saying a lot of things that I can sense off top. Like, okay, this woman want a kid. You know, this woman wouldn't mind, you know, she's saying off top that I create beautiful kids, etc. You know, I didn't had in one instance, man, where I picked my son up from school, you know, woman looking at me in my eyes and she's telling me off top, oh, he look just like you, you know, and I'm looking, I'm like, you saying one thing, but I can tell you meaning another, you know, basically saying like he handsome just like you, you know, but they'll tend to do that, man. You know, I know some of y'all done heard in the black community, especially as in the black community. You find just like your daddy. You know, a lot of women say that. But, guys, most importantly, women are going to be, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be telling you how fine you is, you know. They, they're going to be doing that, guys. They're going to be doing that a lot. Women are not going to sit here and chase a man that looks average in the face. Especially, especially when they know you don't have the resources. When they know you don't have the resources to provide or anything like that. Women are not going to chase you. Women are not going to chase you not one bit, man. If you look average in the face and have a good body, you know, you'll get laid, obviously. But women are not going to chase you, chase you. You know what I'm saying? So women will tend to do that, man. I've had instances where, you know, I, I don't mean to be, you know, an exposed or anything like that. I, I really don't mean to be. But I've had instances, man, where, you know, I'm going to say this, man. It's some familiar people I went to school with. You know, I've had an instance where a girl I went to school with, her mom seen me up in Wingstop. Keep in mind, she's never seen me before, but I know her daughter personally. You know, I know her daughter personally. I'm not going to say too much, man, because I'm growing on YouTube and I know they know they know exactly who I'm talking about. You know, a couple people would, but I know her personally, you know, and her mom. She seen me in Wingstop. And I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to get to the end of how I knew that was her mom because at first I didn't know. But her mom looked at me and she straight up told me this. She straight up told me this in front of everybody in Wingstop. This is exactly what she told me. And I was door dashing. She was like, you deliver food? And I'm thinking in my mind, I'm just looking, thinking in my mind like, do I deliver food? That's like saying, that's, that's like saying this, we in Wingstop right now. I mean, to say Wingstop, but... She asked me, do I deliver food? And I'm like, yeah, I do. You know, I, I do. And uh, she like, is this a certain number to call? Because you fine as hell. Straight up. You fine as hell. And I'm like, you know, I wasn't interested in nothing like that. Because, you know, I just wasn't interested. She wasn't my type. No disrespect, you know. But she wasn't my type. And I was like, um, I just laughed about it. I said, appreciate it, you know. And after that, I'm walking outside to my car. And keep in mind. After I say that, I say thank you, whatever. She goes out, gets in her car, and she waits. She knows, like, 
for some reason, man, people know what type of car I drive, you know? They know. Sometimes, even when they don't know, they can just tell the car matches me. But whatever with that. She was waiting on me to get in my car. You know what she did? She was in the passenger seat, and it was her and another woman. She looked at me, and she did exactly what she said in the passenger seat of that car. She looked at me in my eyes and said, do you know my daughter? And I'm like, who your daughter? And she said her name. And I was like, yeah, I know her. And before I even say what I'm about to say next, what do y'all think she was trying to do? She was trying to lie me to her own daughter. She was literally trying to think about this for a second, guys, before I even get in deep, because it goes even deeper. It goes even deeper. You know what I'm saying? It goes even deeper. But this is just, you know what I'm saying, to prove that, you know what I'm saying, I have to be above average in looks to be getting this type of treatment because this is the dark side. This is the dark side of the sexual underworld. I'm just keeping it a buck with you. Her own mom tried to lob me to her. She tried to lob me to her. I cannot make this up. But yeah, you know, she asks me, do I know her daughter? She says her daughter's name. I'm like, yeah, I know her. She was about to lob me to her before I said this one thing. I said, yeah, I know her. She used to go with my, and I'm not going to even say, but just know I was very familiar with her. Just put it this way, man. I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm going to say this, man, to try to sum it up. Just know it would be going against code to deal with her daughter. I'm going to say that it would be going against code. But after I said that, her mom and them, they started to laugh. And, you know, that was it. They drove off. Because she was about to say something else. But when I told her that I knew her and the significance of how I knew her daughter, you know, she she just laughed it off. You know, it was goodbye to that. And then what's so crazy is, keep in mind, the daughter knows who I am. She knows the significance between me and her and the third party. I don't even go deep in that. But she knows that. And I go, you know, because this is a small city, man. The next day, literally the next day, I see the daughter and uh, she's at work and I go into the store that she works at and she's, you know, she's asking me that my mom did her. She says, did my mom confront you? And I'm like, you know, yeah. And then she was like, don't mind her in a in a very, you know, in a very indirect, awkward way, like saying, um, you know, you know, basically saying, like, I don't know if you're interested or not, because women say one thing and they are doing another. But she's like, don't mind her. And keep in mind, guys, this girl, before, you know, I improved my body fat percentage or whatever, you know, got my face to be aesthetically, you know, with the jawline and everything. Before that, guys, she was talking to me in a in a very ratchet way, you know, in a very hood way. But all of a sudden, you know, you see me and now you are talking to me in a more respectful way. Oh, don't mind her. And I was like, man, your mama thirsty. Just playing, you know, just playing. Nothing, nothing serious. Just playing. And she was laughing a little bit and stuff like that. But even her, she was ready to go along with it. All I had to do was egg on the conversation. She literally came to me and questioned me about the situation and what she knew what her mom was trying to do. Obviously, her mom probably came back to her crib and was like, you know, oh, oh, this fine boy. I seen this and then like, oh, da, 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 this and then third. And boom, she questioned me about it, approached me about it. Oh, don't mind her. Now, yeah, yeah, you, you know what it is, man. You think the same way your mama think, man. But yeah, guys, this just goes to say, man, like if I was average looking, I wouldn't be receiving that, guys. If you were average looking, you would be getting that type of treatment. You wouldn't. You wouldn't be getting that type of treatment if you were average looking. So do not let another man say, you know, what you look like because you have the proof of how women respond and treat to you. If you have women nervous as hell, you know, if a girl literally has to have her friend to get your attention for you, that's a sign that your face is above average. And look, she's nervous as hell. And one of the main reasons why she's nervous is because she feels that she that you look better than her and she can be looking fine as hell. But, you know, girls live in insecurity, man. Girls live in insecurity, period. But she'll be so damn nervous that somebody else will have to. Be the wingman for it because she's too nervous to approach you. But also what counteracts that as well is a girl will be overly aggressive towards you. She'll be overly aggressive. 
You are not good looking in the face and handsome above average, above average looks until you have a girl that is a eight and above, eight and a half and above in your area, chasing you down, literally yelling, begging for your attention, trying to get to see who you are. You know what I'm saying? You have to be paying attention to the cues, man. Girls all in your face, staring, looking at you, all on your face, touching your face. Just stuff like that, man. Pay attention. Girls want to just have your baby. You know, they're not want to have your baby because you got a good body. Man, they want to have your baby because they they view you as being above average looking. They want that baby to be handsome. Bottom line. You know what I'm saying? So, be aware of that, guys. This is a long video, man, but I'm going in. I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy this video well and y'all can relate to it, man. And I'm sure you guys have stories in the comment section as well. But when women are going above and beyond and being blatantly honest with you, you know what I'm saying? When women are constantly locking eyes, looking at you, staring at you, they're not finna stare at that long, especially when they look good themselves. They're not finna stare that damn long at a dude that looks average. Hell no. A, a woman is not finna do that. A woman is not finna look at you in your face for that long if you are average. You know what I'm saying? I can go even deeper, guys. I can go even deeper. I was... This is when I used to work, man. And uh, it was this woman there. And I always knew... I always knew that she wanted me. Because I remember the first time I met her, she was like, I don't bite. And like I told you guys, I'm quiet, masculine frame. I'm not... You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing all this talking. I'm not your damn dancing monkey. You know, I respect you. I'm cordial. I'm finna do here. I'm finna come here and do what I'm supposed to do. And that's it. If I talk to you, we cool. If I don't talk to you, you know what I'm saying? It's just, that's me. I don't want to do that. But, you know what I'm saying? I could tell she was like, you can talk. I don't bite. I'm like, hmm, okay. But, same woman that said this. One day she was bent over. I was like, excuse me, trying to get by. She said, you know, it's hard for a woman to get out this position turned around and looked me straight in my face while she was bent over like look back at it and said that right in my face if you guys now listen i know i'm talking about my current you know i'm talking about my experiences but if you guys have certain situations like that you know then i'm gonna say if y'all have similar situations then you are above average looking it's not just your body you are above average looking i'm telling you guys this man at that job i had on baggy ass clothes a big ass shirt it was just my face showing just my face that's it just my face and guess what they was flocking you know what i'm saying they was they was flocking giving me compliments on my face if a girl give you compliments on your hair you know your face anything like that she 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 views you as handsome you know she views you as above average looks this i'm gonna start i'm i'm glad you know what i'm saying i'm bringing this to awareness for you guys on the looks part of things and you know looking at this from a different spectrum y'all guys gotta understand that man do not let a man tell you you know you you a you average in the face these men crazy as hell man they crazy as hell because the experiences you have that's the proof right there you you, you can't you can't go out for the man think man like ron will said a lot of select men listen to non-select men that's exactly what it be. But even I go even deeper. I go even deeper with you guys, man, because I'm not going to sit here and hide nothing from y'all. I go even deeper. When you got the opposite rate, when you got another race choosing on you, another race. I'm talking about another race. And I'm going to be real with you guys. Let's just call it what it is. Now, listen, in my opinion, this is my opinion, but. I feel like it's natural. It's more natural for a Latina, you know, uh, Arabic, you know, I don't know what, what you call it, the Middle Eastern or whatever, man. Just, you know, Arabic, Latina, stuff like that. Women like that, they tend to naturally be with, you know, black men. But when you have good looking, I mean, good looking sports body, white women choosing on you as a black man staring at you in your eyes you are above average in looks this is just me getting deep a lot of a lot of people don't get deep on this subject you know what i'm saying but i keep it real i keep it raw i ain't got nothing to hide i'm gonna let y'all know my experiences when you have 
men's, you know what I'm saying? You have men's wives, and I take no credit in this. I'm not dealing with, I'm not dealing with nobody who is betrothed to somebody. But when you have a man's wife, when you have a man's girlfriend looking at you, staring at you in front of him, when you literally have men mate guarding their women, mate guarding their girls while you come around, what you think they doing that for? What you think they doing that for, man? Come on, bro. Come on. If you literally have men staring you down around their women, they see your woman, they see their woman staring you in the face, looking at you. Now they got to eye you down because they all nervous. Guys, you think they going to do that because you are average looking? So be aware of that, guys. Man, I don't know what I'm going to tell this video, man. I don't know what I'm going to tell this video, guys, but I know this is a banger, man. This is a, this is a true banger, y'all. This is a true banger, and I feel it, man. But I, I'm glad he commented that because, you know what I'm saying, it's good to, you know, correct somebody when they are wrong. Like, man, you you will, a man will never know, you know. A man will never know until he's experienced it. A, a man will never know. You cannot sit here and say somebody is average looking. And it's funny because he said that on the video in which I just woke up. Hell yeah, I'm looking average when I just wake up, man. Anybody in their right damn mind is looking average when they when they wake up unless they some damn giga chad or something you know what i'm saying but when i'm in my peak man got my haircut looking good clean straight man it's it, it's it's a i'm a menace you know what i'm saying i'm a menace but yeah guys i can go on and on but i'm not gonna hold this video for too long this video is already damn near 30 minutes man but if you guys made it this far man make sure you leave a comment and say i made it you know i really appreciate that but yeah this is just something I had to go in real quick, man, because uh, I, I got to I gotta let this video always be out there. Whenever somebody try to challenge me, I'm going to link this video in the description every time. But, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, you found it helpful, make sure you leave a like. Also, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this topic. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.